let me just say about Joe Biden. Um, I have... <laughs> Hello to all my divine nine brothers and sisters <laughs> and my soror. <laughs> and to all my HBCU brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What's going on, party people? Welcome back. So I think ABC News is trying to clean the act up and act like a journalist. <laughs> so we have one of the camera surrogates on here, and here it goes. Her comments about the military. She said during the debate this about the U.S. military. Let's listen. As of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world the first time this century. Our fact checkers found that to be false, and I have a lot of experience in that area as well. There are currently 900 U.S. military personnel in Syria, 2,500 U.S. troops in Iraq. All have been under regular threat from drones and missiles for months. We also have action in the Red Sea. We also, every single day, the Navy SEALs, Delta Forces, special operators uh, can be part of any sort of deadly raid. So why would she make that claim? Because she's a liar. Duh. Well, I think what's important here, Martha, is that Kamala Harris, in contrast to Donald Trump, demonstrated herself to be commander in chief. We are in a world where there are all sorts of conflicts. and All these conflicts? What are you talking about? I am old enough to remember the year 2016 to 2020 that we had almost zero conflict. It was cleaning up conflicts. It's all the more reason we need somebody who's serious and who supports the military. And just remember, but Governor, uh, but Governor, excuse me, but she said she, there is this, not one member of the United States military who is an active duty in a combat zone. That is not true. You say she demonstrated her ability to be commander in chief, but did she not know about these people in Syria and Iraq? Why would she say that? Hmm. That internet is something funny. It lasts forever. Anything you say will be held against you, prosecutor. Yeah. You thought we forgot about that. Can't trust her. You cannot trust her, people. But let's go. Look, that was a comment. That was a comment in a debate. I think the point that she was trying to make was a broader point. And of course, we have military in place all around this country. That's important. We're the United States of America. And here's one more lie that Kamala told and was in fact checked. Are you going to confiscate guns? We're not taking anybody's guns away. So stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. Yep. She's a gun owner, right? She's a gun owner, right? Let's go back to the time machine. I do believe that we need to do buybacks. Um, I support buybacks. How mandatory is your gun buyback program? It's mandatory. We want to ban assault weapons. We need an assault weapons ban. We need reasonable gun safety laws in this country, starting with universal background checks and a renewal of the assault weapon ban. I'm also in favor of the assault weapons ban of universal background checks, red flag laws. Congress needs to have the courage to act and renew the assault weapons ban. So it's clear that we must renew the assault weapons ban. Let's have an assault weapons ban. We need an assault weapons ban. Demanding as we all do, red flag laws, universal background checks, and a renewal of the assault weapons ban. We're saying we need reasonable gun safety laws, including universal background checks. And to your point, Chris, a renewal of the assault weapons ban is just the right thing to do. But we still need an assault weapons ban. And yeah, I am radical. <laughs> I do okay. believe that we need to get radical about what we are doing and right. take it seriously. From decisions is my values have not changed. Boom. There it goes right there. Her values has not changed. There's an old saying that says, when people show you who they are, 
believe them the first time. When she was asked direct questions, she didn't answer them. So that's why I'm still, that's what's left me with, okay, I'm not quite sure yet uh, what her policies are and so on. So I'm going to dig a little more into her policies. And you were satisfied with the answers that Donald Trump gave? Oh, I knew them already. You see, everybody knows Trump spill by now. Everybody knows what he stands for. It's nothing new. Nobody knows Kamala. And that's exactly what this young lady was saying. She had a perfect opportunity to tell the nation about her dreams and her plans for America and she bungled that up. She is the worst polling Democrat against Donald Trump in history on national polls. No one is performing worse than her. No one's performing worse than her among blacks, among Hispanics, the worst performing Democrat in modern history among those demographics, <clears throat> worst performing polling wise among Jews. She is losing key factions of the Democratic base. Muslim voters, she's at under 50, she's at 52 percent in the latest care poll among black Muslims. She is not doing well. Oh, We're- oh the look of Van Jones. He had the quiver lip. He about to cry. (laughs) I'm out of here, guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you next time.